And judges for your next bout are from Fiji, Germany, Mongolia, Malaysia and Sri Lanka. Your referee in charge of the action from Italy, Maria Rizzardo. First to the ring, boxing out of the red corner, representing Northern Ireland, Aidan Walsh. Approaching the boxing ring for his fourth bout of Birmingham 2022, his 25-year-old Aidan Walsh from Belfast in his second successive Commonwealth Games for Northern Ireland. He has made it through to his second consecutive gold medal bout. Looking to go one better than a silver year at 69 kilograms four corner, years ago. Representing Mozambique, Thiago Osorio Muxanga. Stark contrast, Thiago Mozanga of Mozambique is competing in his first Commonwealth Games, the biggest tournament of his career to date. And he has been hugely impressive so far. He's about to compete in his fourth bout here at Birmingham Ladies 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the final of the men's light middleweight, contested over three three-minute rounds. Introducing to you first in the red corner, representing Northern Ireland, Aidan Walsh! And his opponent in the blue corner representing Mozambique, Tiago Osorio Muxanga! Marie Rosado with the final instructions. What a contest we have in prospect here. We're in a 71 kilogram light middleweight division between boxers from Northern Ireland and Mozambique. We know all about the taller figure wearing red. Currently he's operating as a southpaw, but he is an adept switch hitter. A rear foray onto the front foot as he's fencing with that lead hand. The man wearing blue, who just taken a flicking right jab to the body from Walsh, is at the other end of the experience spectrum, the 22 year old biggest tournament of his career and that is Thiago Muzanga Walsh looking for an upgrade on the silver medal that he won four years ago Come, came into this tournament as the Olympic bronze medalist remember and he's continuing to score effectively with that pecking right jab particularly to the body Muzanga waiting patiently but just wary of running in and that's why Maria Rosado has said to the boxers listen get busy because a minute's gone and we've had very little engagement but that's because he knows if he commits and he makes a mistake Mazanga Walsh is such a terrific punch picker that he will bring that backhand into effect and ghost away before the reply can be laid out by Mazanga Walsh is an out and out counter puncher but it's, pred it's a predicted start from Walsh what he does he, he wins the first round doesn't he so that's why he's come out on the front foot nicking the shots here and there and he's come out as a southpaw Ronald because that means that for Mazanga to land his strongest punch, which is his right hand. It's got to travel further to the target. And if you're sitting back as well as a southpaw, look at the gap. It's a massive gap there. He's a shorter man, so it's going to be very difficult to land that shot. He's got to try and move in with fast feet. But at the moment, Mazanga is um, just waiting and just having a look. So, yeah, I mean, the first round, unless he lands a significant... Uh, blow here, Mazanga. It looks like it will be Walsh's round, which again is perfect tactics. You get your nose in front, and then your opponent has to come over that front foot, then has to force the pace. And that's what Walsh wants you to do anyway. He's a counter puncher on the back foot, remember. So he prefers someone coming forward anyway at him. So Walsh piling up the points with his flicking lead hand there's a beautiful right hand counter out of the orthodox stance and again it's a punch without reply as Mazanga is struggling to get to grips with the distance coming in behind his half cover guard trying to tuck his chin behind that left shoulder there he wasn't too far away with a counter left hook but with just 20 seconds remaining as a beautiful right hand detonated 
And the counter puncher Walsh has found a perfect right cross that deposits Thiago Mozanga on the canvas. Wonderful shot. Great punch from Walsh. Totally unexpected. It just goes to show you that he's what he's capable of. Walsh counter punching, counter attacking, beating his opponent to the, the shot. That's a good round from Walsh. That's a beautiful round of boxing from Aidan Walsh. Let's listen into the red corner. Really well, son. Again. So it was good work from Walsh on the back foot. A frustrating, um, a, a frustrating round for Mazanga, should I say? But he just walked onto one there, coming forward, lapsing concentration maybe. But Walsh just pivoting off his back foot, coming back and scoring with the better shot. Well, that, is that is likely to be a clean sweep of the card for Aidan Walsh. We await confirmation. And here it is, 10-9 from all five scoring judges. After Walsh controlling things beautifully, piling up the points with pecking singles and a potent right cross depositing Thiago Mozanga on the floor. Well, in his two previous contests against Harry Sackbar, the 2022 European Got Championship gold medalist and Garan Croft, European medalist as well for Wales. Walsh took the first round 3 2. And then, with that change in tactics, with the boxer having to do just as Mazanga is doing now, getting onto the front foot, that played right into his wheelhouse. And he was able to use his brilliant footwork to maintain the gap and his accurate punch picking to pile up the points. He's won the set opening round unanimously, putting his man on the floor. And so Mazanga has it all to do now. Yeah, that's exactly um, what he does. Gets his nose in front the first round. And then the opponent has to come forward, and that's what he wants anyway. So again, you need a tempo change from Mazanga. It's going Walsh's way at the moment, but we know Mazanga has got terrific power. He's just got to get in the position to land the heavier shots. But at the moment, at this tempo, it's the man in red that is controlling things perfectly. Mozambique, who joined the Commonwealth Games in 1985. 1995, excuse me, their first appearance was Kuala Lumpur 98. Their only gold golds have come on the athletics track from the great Maria Matola. And Mozanga to etch his name into Mozambique sporting history here. He's facing an uphill ta task against a very experienced, capable operator. Aidan Walsh, one of three silver medalists for Northern Ireland, returning to the boxing ring along with his sister Michaela and Carly McNall. And Mazanga, look at how difficult a mission it is because even a boxer capable of closing the distance as quickly as Mazanga is just struggling to close the gap before Walsh has changed direction and he's in another part of the ring. Well, he has the height to reach, doesn't he, uh, Walsh? And he's a very good mover indeed. So again, controlling the pace and temper of the contest is very important, as is controlling the distance between himself and Mazanga. At the moment, it's all, it's, it's, it's Walsh. But we know this fella in blue is dangerous, powerful. But to get Walsh to hold his feet like this, is it's a rare occasion indeed. South poor left, right hook landed from Walsh before spinning off the line and getting back to the perimeter of the boxing ring. Turns his back on his opponent, which isn't permitted. So while Mozanga's landing a rabbit punch, you see Maria Rosado speaking to Walsh about holding because it was an untidy tango at center ring. And it's another hold once again from the man in red. Double infringement because he didn't keep his head up either. There's a nice left hand on the resumption from Aidan Walsh. And again, all of his experience demonstrated in those closing few seconds, won the round comfortably and just killed the clock to make this mission even more difficult for Mazanga. If Walsh was to hold his feet, stand in trade, it's probably what everyone else, what everyone um, here in the crowd would want as neutrals, but um, you've got to box to your strengths, and that's what Walsh does. He's a counter-puncher, he's a mover, and at the moment he's controlling things very well at distance. It's frustrating for this fella, who has got decent power, but up to now he can't land the power shot. 
keys. You box them well. So two rounds completed. Both of them scored unanimously in four favour of Aidan Walsh. So as we go into the third and final round of this 71 kilogram light middleweight gold medal bout, the boxer wearing blue, Thiago Mozanga of Mozambique, needs a knockout for all intents and purposes. But how do you knock out a man you cannot catch? Because Aidan Walsh, so adept at gliding and ghosting around the boxing ring, poking out singles on his own terms, tying up his opponent when he gets close, terrifically effective. And he took him, remember, to the bronze medal roster in Tokyo last summer at the Olympic Games. Here he's carried him through to his second successive Commonwealth Games final. And Thiago Mazanga, despite his efforts, simply cannot land any leather solidly on his opponent. When he did get close, Walsh intelligently ties him up, turns the table to pin him to the corner, but trying to bum away with short punches is Mazanga, and he did almost get close with a right uppercut. That jolting jab definitely landed as Mazanga quickening his feet now and looking to close the gap as he lands another solid, solid left hand before tossing Walsh to the canvas. Yes, better for Mazanga, but signs of frustration from him as well. Um, and we're nearly halfway through the last round and it's taken him this long to actually catch Walsh with a clean shot and well, again Walsh the, the only way you're going to catch Walsh Ron, is if he slows those feet down maybe target the body Mazanga um, any moving boxer you, if you hit him downstairs and tire him out with a couple of shots there but he just can't nail him with a shot but there's more urgency with Mazanga now well you see look at that Walsh grabbing Mazanga around his legs then coming out of that tangle disengaging tucking up behind his gloves but preventing the man in blue from working away and again using all of his experience ties him up once again right in the line of sight of Maria Rizzardo and again while he's walking a tightrope here is Aidan Walsh less than a minute to go he's employed a fair amount of holding here there you see he was conscious of the fact he didn't want to engage when he got up close and that is why he got back on his toes again and he's increasing the distance between himself and Mazanga. Mazanga's got to cut off the ring. Did you see? Got to cut off the ring and not follow it Walsh around the ring. Yeah, and the problem is here that the clock is against Mazanga. Again, Walsh with his tactics. It's got him home here. Only 25 seconds to go now. Mazanga's so dangerous, but time is running out well, there's been several instances of Maria Rosado talking to Aidan Walsh we wouldn't want to see a warning issued that could be so significant in the outcome of this contest but on the sound of the 10 second clapper Walsh knows that he's going to be able to see out run out the clock and after a brilliant first two rounds from Aidan Walsh Thiago Mazanga really gave it a go in the third and final round but Aidan Walsh brought all of his experience to bear. He held, he spoiled, he ran the clock down, but that should not negate from the first two rounds of punch picking and effective moving that he produced. Aidan Walsh getting his tactics spot on. A spirited effort in the third and final round for Thiago Mazanga, but it couldn't get him close enough, and it will be Walsh who will win. Again, a contest that's won in the first two rounds. Walsh there very important to, to go into the second round ahead and now he is Commonwealth champion ladies and gentlemen we go to your judges scorecards where we have a unanimous decision for your winner and now Commonwealth Games champion in the red corner Aidan Walsh Northern the co-captain of the Northern Ireland boxing Aiden. team Upgrade the Commonwealth Games silver that he won four years ago by prevailing on a unanimous point decision verdict over the talented man from Mozambique, Thiago Mozanga. He gave it a real go in the third and final round. He gave Aidan Walsh a few uncomfortable moments. But the Olympic bronze medalist from Tokyo last summer came on a mission to go one better than the Gold Coast four years ago. And he has accomplished that mission, boxing his way through four wins out of four.
with a very effective application of tactics. Aidan Walsh is a Commonwealth Games king in the 71 kilogram light middleweight division. Ben Whitaker, Olympic silver medalist from down the road in Wolverhampton, on hand to share a fist bump with his fellow Olympic medalist, Aidan Walsh, with another very good display indeed. Capable switch hitter, came out on the front foot of the south port, pecked and poked his way to a points lead, and then once he got into his flow with that movement, well, it was almost impossible to tag cleanly, even though Mazanga gave it a real go in the third and final round. Getting the tactic spot on, again, the Northern Irish camp here, with Walsh, got his nose in front at the end of that first round, and then it's making the opponent come forward and being a counter puncher, he prefers that style anyway. The boxer's coming at him, very experienced. Remember, it's three rounds, and tactically, again, spot on against a very dangerous opponent in Mazanga, very powerful who gave it everything in that last round to land that big shot but it's this man that will be going back to Northern Ireland